Well, you may remember Paul Seglia, the Wellsville man who fled while awaiting trial for allegedly defrauding Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Well, he is a free man in Ecuador tonight after the president of that South American nation intervened on his behalf. Our Dave McKinley updates us on the latest chapter in this now near decade long odyssey. Seglia, who made a living by selling wooden pallets in the southern tier, first made news in 2010 when he filed a lawsuit claiming he gave Mark Zuckerberg $1,000 in startup money when Zuckerberg was a Harvard student launching what would eventually become the multi-billion dollar social media giant known as Facebook. Seglia had claimed under the deal he was entitled to half the company. But in 2012, after a judge determined the contract Seglia produced to support his claim was a fake, Seglia found himself facing criminal charges of fraud. In 2015, while on home confinement awaiting trial, Seglia craftily removed his ankle bracelet and attached it to a ceiling fan in his home, which he placed on a timer to simulate movement and absconded with his family. After three and a half years as a fugitive, he was arrested in Ecuador, and it looked like he'd be brought back to the U.S. to face trial when a court there approved his extradition last November. But early this month, the president of Ecuador, Lenin Moreno, blocked it. Though an extradition treaty does exist between the two nations, Mr. Moreno noted that the U.S. has denied several of his country's requests for Ecuadorian citizens, and so in a letter to his interior minister instructed, in an exercise of national sovereignty, attending to the principle of reciprocity in public international law and for humanitarian reasons, I delegate you, Minister, to deny the extradition. Since that proclamation of June 4th, though, Seglia had remained in jail as his petition for asylum was decided. But yesterday, a judge ordered that since extradition to the U.S. was being denied, Seglia should be released, which he was, with his lawyer by his side, into the waiting arms of his wife and child. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.